And welcome back and we are continuing with our fun Friday this morning on Open Your Eyes as we move into our third segment. Yep. We're shifting from food to the arts. We have with us on set Gayla Lopez who is the owner of Gayla's Art Gallery and we have her featured artist who has an exhibit opening tonight. Mm -hmm. We have Ronnie Hobel. Yes. Right? Good morning and Good welcome. Morning. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Gila, yes. I'll tell you what, and Ronnie, um, Gila, you must be so proud of your accomplishments uh, because now you've got Ronnie uh, with you. You mm -hmm. just mentioned earlier behind, behind the scenes that uh, you've got a lot of traffic yes. with, 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 your, with your studio. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us about how you, how you garnered that. Yeah. I've Ronnie. known Ronnie for, I was just telling him this morning that yeah. I feel like I know Ronnie for like a long, long time, maybe almost all my life, even though he's younger than I am. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you just have that connection. Yeah. Um, I've known Ronnie for like about two years two now. Years. Mm -hmm. And um, he is somebody that really touches my soul um, mm -hmm. as an artist, because yeah. he has pretty deep stuff that he does. Yeah. And um, I, in, like in our world, you need to have that connection with one another. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I've been talking to Ronnie for some time now about <laughs> opening up the gallery and getting Belizean artists known and exposed. Yeah. And um, he came to the opening. Uh -huh. He's from Cayo. Yeah. Oh, and he wow. came to the opening, so I thought it was like grand. Yeah. And um, I told Ronnie, you know, let's do an exhibition because I am so much in love with Ronnie's work. Yeah. Um, it speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. We call it. I li I, li I love to call him the local Picasso. Oh, <laughs> so, um, getting Belizeans exposed, and yeah. Roni is like one of the first, besides the ones that we had the opening. other day yeah. at the opening. And this is just the second month, so I am so happy and excited for tonight. Mm. Gela, you got before we move. I want to talk to Roni, but I mean, yeah. I think we, we don't want to lose the opportunity. If anybody who missed it the last time, you are a well-known, well-accomplished Belizean artist, and. You've moved in now to another level in opening your own studio in Belize City. Uh, tell us where you are and just once again why this was such an important step for you. Because you could have continued producing art yep. and have other people plan your exhibits, but you want to plan exhibits for others right. as well. Right, yeah. exactly. Um, so, like I said the last time, this has been a lifelong dream. Yeah. Um, I'm in this 20 years plus doing art. Yeah. Wow. Um, it's a love of mine, it's my passion. Yeah. Um, sure, producing art is one step, mm -hmm. but I really wanted to have a space where other Belizeans can expose yeah. their art rather than just having it inside their homes. And we have a lot of talent in Belize, yeah. and it's not known. So I'm seeking. So here's an opportunity. If there are new artists out there who wants to get a chance to be exposed, please do come to 91 North Front Street, mm -hmm. yeah. the Image Factory Building. Yeah. It's Gala's Art Gallery. And that's just an inspiration for me because I know what it feels like as an artist not to have a space to expose yourself, yeah. Yeah. to come out and for people to see you. And we, I am, it's just my second month, but I'm getting a lot of traffic. Uh, last okay. week we had um, British tourists that came in on the cruise ship. Nice. Um, I'm so grateful for Miss Merlin at Suna's Cafe. Uh -huh. They go there for coffee and she sends them over to me. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm grateful for that, you know, yeah. and... Um, it, it gets overwhelming because it's a new business, yeah. you know? yeah. and um, you're going to have ups and downs, yeah. but I'm in it for the long haul. Yeah. I, if I set my mind to something, that's, that's what, what I'm going to do. So. Yeah. But Gela, before we get to, before we get to Ronnie, um, you know, I, I, I just, I just want to know, because listening to the conversation, I feel proud, and it's not even me. Mm -hmm. So what's the thought? You've become a platform for young, upcoming artists like Ronnie. Uh, what's, what's the mindset? What do, you, what do you think? How do you feel? Um, that's a very good question. Mm. I have a very open, I, I consider myself very open to a lot of things. So I have an open mind and open heart. And um, I'm very welcoming. Mm. Um, I just want to see Belizean artists okay. known and getting out there, you know. If I can be that person to facilitate that process, yeah. I would love to be that person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to be an art advocate for Belizeans. Yeah. I really want to see Belizean artists go yeah. further than just home mm -hmm. because we have so much talent so I'm I'm like I'm your go-to person <laughs> please do come to me yeah. <laughs> no, and, and you know because you said it so right I've always found in all the years I've been interviewing artists art is not for you about what you give to us 
Yeah. It's about what it does for you. Right. Which means going that next step of promoting yourself is really a big step for artists. Mm -hmm. Sometimes very, it's a personal challenge. Sometimes it's an actual challenge. Nobody's available to show your work. Yeah. Um, and even surviving off of it as well. Right. So it's, it's so great to hear how, as an artist, you're taking that step and, and kind of working with your own community. That's right, what it is. Exactly. And, and promoting each other. I'm Belizean. I'm all for Belizean. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you're finally roped in Ronnie. Tell yes. us about that. Yes. Right? yes. So Ronnie, so Gayla calls you and says, let's do an exhibit. Is yeah. that how it works? Yeah, she, she was like basically, that. you know what? You should be able to expose your work. You know you're very talented. Wow. And I was like, okay, mm. well, I'll do it. Yeah. I'm that type of person. Like, mm. if you say, okay, you're going to be here at certain times, I'm there. Yeah. But you know what, Ronnie? It, it, things, it, it doesn't start like that. We want to know. Who, who are you? And, and, and where did you get the inspiration and how That's long a ago? Deep question. Yeah. Uh, you know, where did you get the inspiration and how, yeah. w when did you find that, you know what, this is what I want to do? Yes. So when I was three years old, I started drawing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As simple as drawing with crayons and pencil mm -hmm. crayons and all that because of a book that my mom bought, bought yeah. me. So it started there and then I'll eventually I go through school and all that, you know, the struggles of a child. Um, then I started when I was 12 again, and I picked it up. Mm -hmm. So I had my second painting when I was 12. Sweet. Of course, everything was like a process for me. Yeah. I didn't really know, okay, you have to draw first before you paint. I painted <laughs> and then drew something. <laughs> so mm -hmm. It was like a step-by-step -step process for me. Eventually, um, you know, it was really nice to be yeah. able to explore on my own. Mm -hmm. I think that that's the reason why I gather inspiration from my surroundings, from yeah. people. I love the drawing faces. Yeah. I love painting faces because yeah. I think you can you can do an expression with your face, you know, and I can tell exactly, oh, he's mad or oh, she's yeah. happy, or, you know. Yeah. So that's what I find fascinating about yeah. it. Yeah. And in my paintings as well, I I portray that um, you know that specific um, person. Maybe yeah. it's the essence of you, but it's not specifically yeah. gonna look like you, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It, it's not real life. It's abstract. We're, yeah. we're seeing here. But Ronnie, when when did you develop? When do you feel that you really? understood what your own style was what my own style was i would say in the year 2014. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, how I, did it happen yeah. i got inspired by many other artists as well some of my belizean artists too you mm -hmm. know just the colors and stuff like that and i'm like hey that's really neat you know i, I want to do it in my own way mm -hmm. so i started um by just having like little boxes mm -hmm. like little shapes and mm -hmm. then playing with those shapes and then based on that i would paint something you know, based on whatever I saw. Yeah. So, in my own way, of course. Of like, course. Mm. So, like, for instance, this one, right? So, I know, I was just watching this one. <laughs> this is cool. I like it too much, Marlene, and that's mine. I <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on, Gila. Don't you have one of so those many. Colors, right? Don't be one of those colors where you walk in and everything is everything so... Everything is in, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I'm kidding. I uh, really miss something, though, because he does a lot of recycled art. Mm -hmm. He yeah. uses a lot of foam and uh, textured yeah. stuff. He I has a lot of patterns right there. and yeah. a lot of Passing. colors. Yeah. So, yeah. for instance, th these are some of the um, art that I make with mm -hmm. takeout boxes. Yeah. The foam, I just make a print and then I just like would print it on a paper, wow. on a t-shirt as well. So uh, it's like Ronnie. a stamp. He created yeah. like a stamp. Yeah. yeah. Look at you, Ronnie. <laughs> that is cool. Once more, I love exploring. I, I think it's important. Yeah, yeah we saw some sculptures as well, sculptures. right? Mm -hmm. Out of cardboard. Yeah, out of cardboard. Mm -hmm. And that's just because you have an environmental. Um, Conscience, I should say, yes. yeah. I mean, I, actually, uh, I was working for a conservation company as well yeah. for yeah. five years. So yeah. I think that's what got me exposed to so many wow. different, you know, situations in the environment. And yeah. of course, I wanted to be a part of that as well, you know. Yeah. So what better way of being a part of than art? Yeah. So. <laughs> I love the art, the artist collaboration. Gayla, what do you love, you love as an artist about Bonnie's work? The colors. I think they're very vibrant mm -hmm. and I love colorful stuff mm -hmm. and things that are loud and yeah. outstanding. Yeah. Um, also the way he uh, does his uh, faces because yeah. uh, I'm a facial person as well mm -hmm. so I could relate to him but mm -hmm. he does like more of an outline. Uh, he does abstract work and then he does the outlining yeah. and so that captivates me. Yeah. Um, 
And tonight, well, we're not get that tonight. Wait, I, know. Know. I was gonna say because it's, that's what I find interesting, and you said it right there. Is like it's it's an opposite style. It's I guess it's opposite in the same range, like right. right. you know. Right. Um, and what do you love about Gela's stuff? Let me ask you. Oh boy, the first time when I saw one of her paintings, I'm like, oh, I, I couldn't even stop looking at it because really? the canvas itself was like a round canvas, and yeah. I was like, that's really neat. Yeah. You know, it yeah. was different for yeah. me. And then, of course, I saw the splashes of color. Colors, there, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, she likes That's a similarity too, you get. So yeah. <laughs> it's like I can see that connection right there. As we're Belizean, we're Caribbean too. That's like yeah. part of our identity. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, what Obviously. will you be displaying tonight? What will I be displaying? Yeah. Okay, I have certain pieces that are made from like unrecycled. Mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. and then I do have other ones that are more in like the abstract like faces and there's a wow factor in each one of them I mm -hmm. won't say what mm -hmm. but if you do get to go then you'll be <laughs> you'll be able to see what the wow, wow factor is so You're what's the down. reaction you usually get to your artwork okay so my first exhibition it was quite scary because Why? obviously I had all of my artwork in my room like yeah i remember the scale I say most uh -huh. artists do <laughs> so i had everything in my room it was and a lot store, it was a lot yeah. i probably have about four or five hundred of them mm -hmm. still so <laughs> still so i do have a lot <laughs> um i paint on a day-to-day -day basis you know it's just a way for me to like forget certain things and when is your when is your so time what, when what was you i would, just want to finish yeah. what was what was the reaction when you really put it oh out when there? i took when i put it out yeah. there uh, it was scary like I mentioned but yeah. people gravitated to it they really loved it they were like oh this speaks to me I have three sisters I have you know I love candy I yeah. like it was just a very nice experience yeah. um, of course any criticism is really good you know yeah. whether it be good or bad but you know it helps you develop as well so I think that that was important but for my first exhibition, I didn't have any negative criticism, which is great. So, <laughs> <laughs> is there a specific time of the day that uh, you'd be inspired, or you're traveling and you're inspired because you saw probably some mountains or something like that? What's what goes through rarely, an artist's mind? Real, rarely, I get inspired by stuff like that. Most of, you almost every day, I'm inspired. Almost every day, to be honest, I can just grab a paintbrush and a paint right now, and I can paint something. Well, I'll tell you what. I right? wish we had it. We had a challenge morning, right? Hey, we, <laughs> one, one, of the, <laughs> one of the things we do is like for me, like for me, I I do a lot of writing, probably commercials or mm -hmm. or things that you know. And this happens to me more or less somewhere around like two o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. or three o'clock in the morning as I wake up, probably to use the bathroom, and something is there. Oh. Right. Is that the same thing for you? Sometimes on occasions, like I would have a certain dream, and I'm like, in my dream, I would be seeing certain shapes, and I have my little sketchbook there, and I just draw something. Mm -hmm. Especially in the morning, I would look at it, and I'm like, hey, that looks cool. Yeah. So I draw or paint or on? something else. Yeah. Sometimes I paint blindfolded. I think it's very really. It's a way to to wild. express yourself. <laughs> you just wanted to challenge yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. How many yeah. times you missed the canvas? Uh, <laughs> I, I, have to, I have to be like touching up, up touching on the side. Video but, like, maybe yeah. you should do that live tonight. Right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Exactly. But it's, it's, it's fun. It should yeah. be something that you enjoy, something that's freeing, something yeah. that you actually tap into your inner self to be able to create. So, so do you ever get commissioned for portraits? And what's it like? Because you do abstract portraits. So somebody does, you know, you say, See, um, yeah. That's the thing. Because yeah. sometimes um, I have some of my friends, they're like, oh why don't God. you? Why don't Sorry. you paint yeah. like like portraits, or why don't you? What can't you paint me? And I'm like, you mean like one of your French girls, like Titanic? I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, yeah. I can't do yeah. that. But yeah. you know, um, I can paint the essence of you, yeah. but it's not necessarily gonna look like you, yeah. you know. So, and but that's like, a cooler okay. picture to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's something that comes from me. You yeah. know, I don't want it to be to look. You know, I want it to be unique. So, but and when like. When did you go from saying, I don't want it to look like your face, I want it to look like what I see when I look at you? It's almost like cap captivating someone's energy, you know, right. um, in your distortions. I, w I mean, I'm assuming, I have no idea. Yeah, that's um, actually that way. But when did you decide that you will break conventional, I, people do it, but like you said, people are so accustomed to seeing themselves or right. something that they know or have seen before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think in the year 2014 was when I started to explore that side. Yeah. Okay. Because, like I said, when I was a child, I 
used to like whatever I would see in the storybooks yeah. that would be exactly what I would have yeah but then and then I started to explore the different side of me so yeah. that's the way when I started to do that in the year 2014 so mm -hmm. Great, so, so the exhibit is tonight I see you have some smaller pieces yeah. too so these you are gifts for you for let's check it, oh. out. Let's check it out and so it's, so it's tonight at what time and what do we have to do we just get there you go on in and yeah. you uh these are Beautiful. Yeah. It's at 7 o'clock tonight. Uh -huh. You walk right in to Gala's Gallery mm -hmm. at 91 North Front Street yes. Image Factory Building. Yeah. And you come and enjoy. Like Ronnie said, there's going to be um, some special effects in his paintings. Mm. And um, yeah. I was intrigued yesterday yeah. when he showed me what he showed me. Mm. <laughs> like something's up. Something's up. Something's up. Something's up. Something's up. Something's up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I think that is what um, Ronnie is all about. Like he's, he has this mysterious side to him. Yeah. yeah. Um, like when he says, this is his super excited this morning. Yeah. That's a bit mysterious too. <laughs> 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 but yeah. I love it, you know. Um, is there any, well, I guess it's what Gail is talking about, you know, pieces that you're really excited to just put forward to well, the public? There's two of them actually. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I kept telling um, Gail that, you know, I'm really mm -hmm. feeling a way to part with these ones. But <laughs> if I had to part with them, that's just it. That's you know, just I'll just it is. Want to make create it something yeah. else. <laughs> ah. yeah. Two of the paintings that I love. Yeah. You, you so. can't buy, you have to leave something for the rest of us. Well, that's why okay, I'm trying to promote it so <laughs> that they can <laughs> come Gila, in. Gila won't take all. <laughs> <laughs> Gila can't have all. So, all the pieces will be on sale. Uh, yes. Awesome. Uh, and they're very affordable. Okay. Um, yeah. Because I think a lot of times, uh, as a society, we tend to run away from coming to art shows because um, not because we don't like the art, but because we think they're sometimes too pricey. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just our worth as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Rooney's work, they're very affordable. Yeah. Um, they speak for themselves. Um, I, I'm very, I'm, I always tell him I'm very intrigued by his work because you never know what next. Like, yeah. Rooney has a brand, you know that's Rooney's work. Yeah. yeah. You know? I'm flexible, so you never know when Gila is going to put out something. But <laughs> yeah, Rooney's work is, he has a brand. Yeah. And they're wonderful gifts. Yeah. I would love to have, but like, I... This one, um, this one got sold to a guy in Panama. Oh, wow. By one of my friends, so. And I've been, I, I, I no love longer that have one, that yeah. one. <laughs> you should come see the Jeez one tonight. People. All right, we're, we're definitely going to have to check it out. It starts yeah. at, <laughs> once again, at 7, at 7 p.m. All right. right? Cool. And if you can't make it to the opening, the gallery is open. Right. Ronnie's work is going to be running for over maybe two weeks to, to the next month, depending on the traffic. Okay. Um, so it's going to be, mm -hmm. but for sure for the next two weeks, it's going to be available at the gallery. Mm -hmm. So please do come yeah. over. And your opening hours at the gallery? It's eight o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. um, right through until four o'clock. Okay. Right, cool. Excellent. Thank you for coming in. Yes. Best yes. of luck at the yes. opening tonight. Thank you for these little gifts. And yeah. uh, we're really looking forward to seeing what you're going to be putting out. Bef Thank before, you for having I, us. And before we, get to the other, before we get to the other guest, you guys ever wonder what happens when you put uh, 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 profit and revenue together? I hope you could stay around to check it out. That's when we come back. Really? <laughs> 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 but on my next show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a few. Stay tuned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>